U.S. diesel shortage worsens. Diesel shortage? It's hard to believe we're even saying that. As the country with the world's largest oil fields and oil resources, this shouldn't even be a conversation. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. It's just Econ 101, really. When demand overruns supply, there's generally trouble. And when stockpiles can handle a seasonal surge, there's more wiggle room and less urgency. That's the problem diesel is facing right now in America. With diesel supply being a critical factor for global transportation, any shortages can disrupt the global supply chain. I can only imagine how big this could be in disrupting the American way of life. Diesel supply and demand problems is what we're covering today, albeit with some higher stakes in some of the other supply issues in this country. It shouldn't be, but America is in the midst of one of its worst diesel shortages ever, thanks to lopsided supply and demand. Diesel inventories in the U.S. have not been so low since 2008, with the Energy Information Administration reporting that, as of October 14th, the country had 25.4 days left of distillate supplies, which include diesel, jet fuel, and heating fuel. The supply crunch is particularly severe in the East Coast, according to the analysts who talked to Newsweek. Mansfield Energy, a major fuel supply and logistics company in Georgia and operating in every U.S. state, wrote in a recent news release that the East Coast fuel markets are facing diesel supply constraints due to market economics and tight inventories. According to the fuel supply company, extremely high diesel prices, which have surged due to low inventories combined with high demand, are concentrated in the Northeast, while supply outages are currently hitting the Southeast. These shortages, writes Mansfield Energy, are due to a combination of poor pipeline shipping economics and historically low diesel inventories. And I would add, incredibly bad policy by our own government. No doubt. Mansfield Energy identified the most acute shortages to be in these seven states, Alabama, Georgia, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. These seven states have been given an alert level four by the fuel supply company to address market volatility, while the entire Southeast was moved to code red, which requires a 72 hour notice for fuel deliveries when possible to ensure fuel and freight can be secured at economical levels. Mansfield Energy in a news release published on October 27th said, normally East Coast markets would have about 50 million barrels of supply in storage throughout the market and sometimes much more. This year, however, the East has less than 25 million barrels on hand. That means when bulk traders go to pull their inventories, they may not find much left in the tank. Pardon the pun. For East Coast fleets, then, now is the critical time to make sure your supplier has a plan for the winter to keep your equipment running. Outside the East Coast, markets could face some challenges, but most of the biggest issues will be concentrated over in the East. The company wrote that it expects shortages to be painful at the macro level, raising diesel prices to a point which would make demand drop and hopefully offer some relief to low inventories, but doesn't believe that there will be a nationwide lack of diesel. So the plan is to reduce demand by making prices higher instead of doing the right thing, which would be to refine more of our own oil. Yeah, that's not to say there won't occasionally be situations where there is a true physical lack of products. Some cities might run dry on diesel for a few days, at least at the terminal level, but the fuel supply chain is dynamic and suppliers will rally to fill any gaps in supply, the company claimed. But Patrick DeHaan, Gas Buddy's head of petroleum analysis, told Newsweek he would be more cautious before saying outages were incoming. It's very touch and go right now. I do not yet believe widespread outages are imminent, he said. He continues, a few retailers here and there may have temporary delays. A lot of bending is going on behind the scenes. There are significant challenges primarily in the Northeast, but I don't expect it to be anywhere near to the Colonial Pipeline outage in 2021, but definitely something to keep an eye on. I believe that bending is people getting bent over. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> the, diesel sh the diesel shortage has been building since the start of the pandemic and fuel inventories have dropped well below emergency levels. The word from the Energy Information Administration is that the U.S. diesel stockpiles are hovering below marks not seen since 2008. So how do we get there? Matt Smith, lead oil analyst at Kepler, says it comes down to basic supply and demand. The pandemic abruptly halted gas demand since people were forced to stay home. With demand crashing, refiners stopped refining, but Trucks continued to deliver goods around the country, so diesel demand stayed elevated. In effect, diesel consumption continued, but refiners largely slowed down production. The crisis has since gotten worse because of two additional factors at play. Matt Smith explained it like this. The double whammy is that as demand has picked up post-pandemic, the U.S. is exporting more. 
well over a million barrels a day. Yes, we are exporting the fuel. And the triple whammy is the sanctions coming onto Russia's diesel exports early next year. So the global backdrop is tight supply. With European nations weaning off Russian energy, competition has increased in the diesel market due to the influx of buyers. It's unlikely inventories actually bottom out at zero. Markets are panicking, so diesel prices will climb higher and higher, which will spark behavioral changes in consumers and producers. Higher prices making the profitability of refining diesel go much higher. In other words, because of money, refiners have more incentive to ramp up production. At the same time, expensive diesel will mean fewer customers can afford to buy fuel. And the cost of moving goods around this country will skyrocket. So prices rise, which crimps demand, and that also crimps export demand and encourages import demand. Ugh! The market is having to adjust very quickly to avoid inventories running dry. The mechanism to do that is simply through diesel prices rising. What's the greatest concern of the political establishment right now in this country? It's this question. Will the U.S.'s worsening fuel shortage impact the outcome of the midterm elections? Well, hopefully. Hopefully. A planned price cap on Russian oil could be delayed coming after U.S. midterm elections, reports say. More negative actions delayed until after the election. The plan to cap Russian oil prices could be delayed as policymakers try to smooth market volatility ahead of the midterm elections. Sources familiar with the WSJ that key guidance on the price cap would be set after the November 8th midterms. Wow. So yes, it's unfortunately all about politics. All about politics. Mm -hmm. That could delay the price cap proposal and slash Russian oil flows when the European Union ban finally kicks in. You know what that means? Gas prices are going to go up again. Woohoo! What a crazy year this has been, and what perfect timing for MPG Extreme to have introduced X caps. And the funny thing is, well, there's a few idiots out there who still think that there's a possibility it's snake oil. <laughs> Without an ounce of first hand information, yeah. they destroy their own credibility because they haven't tried the product. They have a totally unqualified opinion on it, and they simply cheat themselves and others who listen to them out of an opportunity to save on fuel costs. Maybe they tried other things that didn't work. Oh, well. But one thing I've never done is let my experience prevent me from learning something new. Yeah, happens to all of us. Kevin, you're a ton more open-minded than most people, though, and it shows in everything you do. I have a follow-up question for our audience. Do you think this diesel shortage is an accident? Doing my civic duty here, I have to say, if you don't like what you're seeing in this country, your budgets are being crushed out of control, out of ridiculous inflation. You're paying ridiculous prices for fuel, for food, and everything. It is totally self-inflicted. And yes, I do have a clue about self-inflicted gas prices because I live right in the oil fields this country has in North Dakota, and I hear every day about how bankers are shutting off financing to oil producers and refineries, financially strapping them from doing additional development. Without a doubt, there's a war on American energy. So think about what Kevin just said and make sure you exercise your right to vote on Tuesday and make your voice heard. The people currently in charge are responsible for this total chaos this country is facing. And just like many of you who went to the FTC site to help slam the door on dealers ripping you off, we're calling on you again to help hold those in charge in America accountable for this market misery and throw them out for goodness sakes. Yes. For those of you who work in the trucking industry, I invite you to send us an email about the truckers crumbs from MPG Extreme. We'd love to give you some help and promise to send as many samples as we can to owner operators or trucking firms out there. If you're burning diesel, you yeah. need every advantage you can get right now. For all the rest of you, your satisfaction is 100% guaranteed with the X caps from MPG Extreme. And now I have a phenomenal statistic to share with you. Out of the hundreds of orders we've had from X caps, only 2% of our customers have requested their money back. Perhaps they're driving a brand new car and it wasn't a good fit for them. That means 98% of you had a positive response and that was notable enough that you're still on board with us. So for a few of you who have messaged me to see if we're still sending out free samples, the answer is no. Why? We have all the necessary proof that the X caps do in fact work for most cars and we became aware of the 100% customer satisfaction guarantee as well. Yeah. There's no risk to you. 
If you have questions about the X-CAP and how it can boost the fuel economy in your vehicle or fleet of vehicles, especially if you're a trucker or a trucking firm, make sure you email us at kevinthehomeworkguy at gmail.com or call text to 701-441-3399. We have a big customer database that's growing all the time, so we know how to produce the best results and we promise you a straight up honest answer. Remember, there's a no risk, ironclad, 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. And yes, Kevin does often answer the phone and tries to call people back who reach us on our MPG line. At a minimum, you're going to get a call or a text from us. That's right. And as an added bonus, if you'd like mine or Liz's involvement in your future car deals, for those of you who sign on as an ISR with the gold package or the trucker's crumbs from MPG Extreme, I will personally contact you directly and share my cell number with you. And you'll have unlimited direct help and advice from me or Liz on all your future car deals. How you'd like to have us on speed dial when you set foot in a dealership. <laughs> that alone is worth its weight in gold. And I'd look forward to yeah. that. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We welcome you to our family. And of course, please share our videos on social media. Thanks everyone for coming back. And to all of our faithful followers and our growing team of ISRs out there, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.